Planning and Development Single Window System Bill, which seeks to improve the ease of doing business in Ghana, was sent to a special select committee for further consideration. Minister of Housing and Water Colin Crowell informed the House that he, along with technical personnel from the Ministry, met with members of the opposition who proposed several amendments to the bill. Last evening, we received a list of proposed amendment or amendments and recognizing to the list there, it is not dissimilar to what the members of the opposition brought out or proposed yesterday in their engagement. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, taking all of that into consideration, we do intend, following the debate, we do intend, and with the amendment that is proposed on our side too, there are two amendments have been proposed, we do intend to send for a brief period to the select committee. The bill provides for the establishment of a single entry point and platform for processing and approving planning and development applications. The opposition wants the director of the unit, who will be responsible for the administrative functions of the system, to be appointed on recommendation of the Committee of Appointments of the National Assembly. All we can conclude is that this is an attempt to politicize the process, but more importantly, they want to frustrate the process. And Mr. Speaker, that defeats the whole purpose of this planning and development single window system bill. The planning and development single window system bill specifies the functions related to land use planning and development.